Okay, so I'm rolling. I always start in the middle. That's just habit. You don't have to do that. And I'm going to take four rollers. One, two, three, and four along the very bottom. You might be able to do it with three. Let's try it with three. Good tension. Next curl, next roller. Making sure I get my ends tucked under. My hair is falling off of the roller. I'm trying to get that situated first. There we go. That's the only thing when you're taking really big sections, the hair will fall off of the roller. You got to go and kind of get that back situated before you can kind of move on to the next section. I don't know why this wig, um, I mean, I guess because all of the wigs were bought from different wig places, vendors. So this one is just not as thick as some of the other ones. Some of the other bird Renoi wigs, but the color was what they needed. So that's what we had to go with. So this highlighter green color, it's kind of weird. All right, so now I'm moving to the next section, the top section. And once again, I'll start in the very middle of the back, section all the way down and just work my way. Middle, right, middle, left, and that's how I do it. But whatever works for you, as long as the re end result is the same, it doesn't make a difference to me. All right, so. Also, if you find that when rolling, if I'm going to show you, I'm going to hold it down low and start rolling. If you find that when you roll and you get all the way up to the base, if this roller sits directly on the, on the roller underneath it, then you probably need to take it off, start over. And instead of starting with the elevation, like brushing it and starting rolling down here you might need to brush it out and hold the hair higher and start rolling from up here so that when you get to the base it doesn't sit directly on the roller beneath it so when you get down to it then your roller sits higher than sitting right here i'm gonna Bring it. That was just exaggerated <laughs> so that you can see what I was talking about. It doesn't need to be that high because then there's a big gap in between. So I'm going to bring it back down here because that was basically where I needed it to be. So roll it back up. Make sure my ends are tucked under. The ends of the very ends of the hair. <laughs> and roll it. Make sure it's not sitting directly on top of the roller underneath. And it's not. It's sitting right above it and in this section. Go one to 
the next one. Separate that. Again, I'm redundant, but make sure your ends are tucked under. Put tension in the, in the hair so that I have a tight curl. And last section. If I stand over here, then you might be able to see me to the very end. So, make sure that the very ends are tucked under. So, even if I have to take it and wrap it, and then use my finger to kind of tuck it under as I begin to wrap, curl the hair and roll the roller, I'm still making sure the very ends right here get tucked underneath I'm trying to do it in slow motion it <laughs> doesn't really work all right there we go The one that I just curled, rolled, and I just have this right side, and I'll be done with this wig. Then I can steam it out. All right, I'll stop this video because I'm at seven minutes.